going on guys it's Badger and welcome back to another video now today guys we're doing something a little bit different i wanted to make a tutorial on how to edit horror gaming videos for horror gaming channels you know because i know a lot of people when they start off on youtube they post horror games like myself and you know you're posting you're posting you post hundreds of videos and you don't feel like you're getting anywhere you know you watch big youtubers like for example Corey <laughs> Kenshin or 8 Ryan and you really enjoy the videos and you want to make quality content like that uh, so in today's video guys i'm going to be giving you a tutorial step by step how to edit a video like Corey Kenshin or like April Ryan but obviously it's not going to be exactly the same it's not going to be one for one you know it's just an idea so you can base your content around something you can get a flow to your content the editing in your videos guys will be consistent editing takes seven to nine hours usually it takes a very long time to edit my videos i'm gonna obviously condense that into like a 20 minute video 15 we'll see how long this video is guys but yeah if you do enjoy my content or if you do enjoy this video please leave a like and subscribe that'd be greatly appreciated i'm trying to build a community here and i'm trying to help you guys out this video is going to be cut into steps also if you want to know how to make a good thumbnail uh comment down below and i'll make a video pretty soon on how to make a good thumbnail you can look all over my channel these are the sort of thumbnails i make Okay, now let's begin guys. So what we want to do is you need to add your footage and your face cam files to your project and then drag them into your bin. So now you have your gameplay footage and your camera files. So what you need to do guys is to drag this onto your timeline. The next part is syncing. We need to sync our face cam to the gameplay. Uh, now guys, uh, I know some people would record with OBS. I do not record with OBS. I use NVIDIA screen recorder and I record with DSLR camera. I know some people use a webcam that's plugged into their PC. It basically links for you. If you have the same case as me where your audio is not linked, this is what you do. Whenever you start recording guys, give a little clap. Okay. As you can see guys, I give a little clap. I know it's very loud. Go to where the clap is. Get the, the razor tool, cut. Okay, then we delete the unwanted part. Same with the face cam. Give a little clap. Clap. Okay, so we highlight the face cam. This right here is the camera audio. This over here is the mic audio. So what I want to do is link the mic to the camera. So we highlight. They both both the audio start at the clap. We highlight. Right click, and where is it? Unlink. We click unlink, guys. You unlink. It separates the audio from the actual footage. So we pick that up and we drag it, and it should snap right onto our clip. So we can delete the camera audio because it's low quality. If you have multiple footage, what I suggest is cutting it at the end of your camera and moving that to the side. So now we can do the same with this. If you see Corey Kenshin's videos or like any other high gaming videos, uh, they all have a face cam in a circle or in a square. It's up to you, you can decide. Uh, I'm going to show the circle one. Some people they'll show like a circle uh, effect that you add. Do not do that guys. It makes your video file massive and you have to do a whole bunch of rendering and all that and it takes forever. This is the easiest way to do it guys. What we do, we click on this square over here and then we go to color mat and we push OK. Color mat, push OK. Now we choose the color of our face cam border. I, I'll go with white. You can always change it, it's fine. We place it onto our thing, we stretch it out for as long as we need. Okay, let's move to the side. We need this to be underneath our face cam. So you bring our face cam up, still linked with the audio. Make sure all our audios, everything's lined up. Okay, cool. Uh, we can bring that in. Now what we need to do guys, is we click on the, the top file, which is our face cam. And then we add a circle. Now what we do guys is you can you can drag it like this you can make it whatever shape you want if you want it to be a perfect circle you hold shift and it'll stay as a perfect circle position it where you want uh, around here's fine for me i guess now we do the exact same for the face cam border we click on it we click on this circle eclipse mask we click on that now you can't see the mask right now but we do this hold shit hold shift Hold shift guys, 
and then we position it as best we can if it's hard to position that is because it is blurry so what we do guys we click on the mask over here mask feathering we bring that down to zero so it becomes a sharp circle we do the same with our face cam click on motion so you can control the movement of the face cam and uh, move it around in the face cam until you think it's centered and now guys positioning what we do guys is this is the face cam's too big so what we do is we go to scale over here and we bring it down I usually go for around uh, 61 61 fits best for me uh, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this down bring the the border down as well that's an okay border for me guys okay so if we make it full screen that is the size it, it is a decent size not too big not too small so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to motion and we're gonna line this up you can put the face cam wherever you want I like to line up with the top and this and the side so it's always in a good position for me okay now what we're gonna do we're gonna drag this try center it that looks about centered there we go guys there's our face cam done now what we need to do is we need to go through our clips and make lots of cuts all we need to do guys no edits all we need to do is make loads of loads and loads and loads of raw cuts my full video is 37 minutes you should be aiming for just underneath half of the raw footage so if my video is 40 minutes i should be aiming for a 15 minute video if your video is 30 minutes you should be aiming, aiming for a 10 minute video just keep it concise only really cut in the valuable pieces of information anything interesting okay if there's any long pauses for like two three seconds cut those out okay you need to make this as concise and as interesting as possible guys i'm gonna do that real quick and i'll get back to you okay now that i've chopped up the whole video this took me like an hour to do uh i've cut through the video as you can see it's gone from 37 minutes to 10 minutes 40 seconds okay for example here make sure your positioning is correct if your positioning isn't correct all you have to do is very easy click on your face cam click on where it says mask and then you just drag it to where your face needs to be then you click on motion then you drag it back so now my face is always in the center your face should always be in the center of your face cam so just go through that watch your video through like look pass over here well, I'm like zoomed in. If something like this happens where your face is completely off the camera and it's an important part and you go here, you go to mask and you find out, oh wait, it's cut off at the bottom. What you can do is a very simple thing. What we do is we delete the, the stroke, then we delete the mask. Then what we do guys, we extend this, we make this bigger. Like this make this bigger this is the Abra Ryan sort of effect that he uses now what we do guys we get the pen tool there's a pen tool here you click on the pen tool roughly it doesn't need to be precise roughly cut around your person uh, and if you can't reach the bottom it's fine once you make your circle just grab and you can drag it past the past the screen you can do that okay now what we do guys we change the mask feather up and then we change mask expansion it's not really blended you can still see my background that's fine all you need to do guys is push you go to blend mode where it says normal and you make it screen now as you can see i can't really see what's going on over here because animatronics are like overlaid with my face so what you want to do is zoom what you want to do is move it here And look guys if you can still see my background it's fine all you need to do is mask follow the mask layer so what you do we turn all those stopwatches blue and then we click on mask and we adjust we adjust it to our liking um just as i move i'm gonna put some keyframes now we move along so go click a few times seven eight times then drag drag the mask if you want you can add a point just click on the line you can add another point like that another thing you can do guys is a tracking thing uh which is i forgot i use the tracking uh there's a tracking way we can auto track it but it's not accurate most of the time so suggest doing it manually and plus it looks better when it's manual now guys if you watch this back this is only in big 
It should look something like this. To get it st Well, they have- What does the puppet do? You, you could argue that it's too focused on my face. If that's the case and you want to add some sort of effect to that background, you can do a little zoom. You can do a little zoom. So we do, we click on the, the gameplay layer, which is this part. Uh, we turn on our keyframes to get it st well, and then we go a little bit forward and then we do a little zoom and reposition. Right now I'm trying to zoom into the puppet over here. So right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom closer to the puppet like this. Okay. And what I'm going to do is gonna, I'm going to drag that to the end of my timeline. We're going to get my face and a little zoom into the background. We're going to do custom that guys. To get it, st well, they have... What does the puppet do? We're just going to go... It gives like a nice effect like that. That's the 8 bit Ryan sort of effect that you can do. So you keep going, you do stuff like that for like the parts where your face is cut off. Or... Um... Just make sure your face is centered in all the clips, basically. I've got all the concise, important parts to keep the video interesting and keep attention. Speaking of retention, that's where the intro and the outro comes in. Now for the intro guys, you want to spend at least 30 seconds, minimum 30 seconds, to a minute on your intro. Your intro needs to be engaging. At this point, I would usually record my intro. If you don't have time for that, you can record at the start of the video. And if not, if you can even do something like this. Oh my days! Hey Chica! Oh! Funny! Wait, I can't go in my cameras then. Oh my days guys, this is stressful. Oh, quick, 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 I'm so sorry. I've forgotten how to do a Freddy, I can't like it. Oh! What's going on guys, it's Badger here and welcome back to another video. So if you want that sort of intro, you need to edit your whole video. And then at the end, you take parts of the video that you've edited, pile it together into a mini preview of the video. Uh, but we're not going to do that. Uh, we're going to do the basic way. And that's basically how you do your intro. Uh, I might do that another time because I need to make this video as concise and easy as possible. So this is going to be my sort of intro for this video. I'm not going to do nothing too crazy. The way I'd start my intro is a little zoom in. We'll go... Three, four frames out, so let me get this sort of effect. What's going on, guys? A little zoom out. Now, guys, when I cut onto the sound effects, you can find playlists of like 8 bit Ryan, Corey Kenshin's sound audios and musics. Uh, you download those and you plug it into a USB into your computer, and then you basically drag and drop your MP3 and MP4 files. Uh, so I'm gonna get mine up. I have this audio file that has a bunch of swish and swish and all of that, those sort of sounds. Uh, okay, so what you're gonna do, you're gonna close in your timeline over here with this thing. Close it in. We're gonna cut to where the audio is. And then like, around there. Delete the unnecessary parts. You want the audio to start with it. Now what you wanna do is you wanna make this louder than your actual audio. So I'm gonna go put my level to five. What's going on guys? What's going on guys? So it does like a whoo, noise. That basically spikes interest when someone clicks on the video. It draws in attention. My camera is not moving. It's not interesting. So after our zoom, our fast zoom, what we're gonna do, guys? Is What's going on, guys? It's Badger here. Welcome back to another. We're gonna video do this. Today. We're gonna do a little pan zoom like this. Not too much. So it does a nice, soft, gentle zoom. Badger here. Welcome back to another video. Today, guys, we're playing Five Nights at Freddy's Plus. So when I say Five Nights at Freddy's Plus, we click on our gameplay file. I look, guys. I've made a cut, by the way. I love making cuts, it keeps the clip by itself so you don't affect the rest of it. Okay, so we do that. Turn on our keyframes, we zoom into FNAF Plus. Again, this is the intro, so you don't have to do all these crazy effects, but I suggest, I strongly suggest, you do it for the thir first 30 seconds. As you can see, I'm only 3 seconds in. You need to keep retention, so what we're going to do guys, we're going to add a, an effect. Also guys, download presets. Download good presets such as a smooth shake. It saves a lot. Presets save a lot of time, guys. Presets save lots of time. We added a shake effect, so Five it basically does plus. this. Five Nights at Freddy's. Plus. That's a little like wave effect. We're not zoomed into Five Nights at Freddy's. We're not zoomed into the title. So we need to do, guys. We add our effect, then we search up transform. We get transform. We drop it onto our gameplay clip. We scroll down to where it says transform. 
And what we're going to do, guys, we're going to zoom in. So it should look something like this, guys. I've done it. Now it should look something like this. We're playing Five Nights at Freddy's Plus. Now, a little wave effect. That looks good. I'm about to say this is the scarier version. So I want to add impact onto it. So we cut there. Uh, we cut there. So we can get rid of this part. We can take off the mask, make it big. We might. I'll do a little zoom out instead of a zoom in. Always switch up. Don't always do a zoom in and a zoom in and a zoom in. Zoom out. Go both ways. Okay. I'm talking. Now, this isn't the same. Thing with a little zoom, zoom out. This is apparently the. Okay. Now I'm gonna see the scariest. I want to add impact to it. So what we're gonna do, guys? Delete the mask. We're gonna do the Abe Ryan effect. I call it the Abe Ryan effect because he, he uses this a lot in his videos. Okay. There we go. We're gonna go around. And uh, yeah, okay, now you can change the size to however you want it. You can even do like a a little effect like this. I don't usually do this, I'm gonna do this now. We put our character off, we put ourselves off, and then we bring it into it, does like a little. This to get a little whipping effect, you see that, guys? This to get. When you're editing, guys, think about the perspective of watching the video. Think of the perspective of the viewer. If you watch the first 30 seconds and it's not engaging, you're not doing it properly. You need to make sure your first 30 seconds are engaging for yourself. Freddy he looks horrific. Now guys, look, I want to keep Freddy as, I don't want to like cover up Freddy. So what we're going to do is we're going to do two things. Okay, I'm going to delete my the back of my thing. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to search flip. We're going to get a horizontal flip, we're going to add it to ourselves over here. So now our face cam is flipped. What we want to do guys, we want to move it here and we want to make it big. Increase the mask path, decrease the expansion. And then we click, if, you, if it's not positioned right, we click on mask, we can move it. There we go guys, like that. Basically, it's going to look like this. Version. Oh my days. Freddy looks horrific. Oh, I say horrific as well. My bad. I need, I need to focus. I don't focus. Oh yeah, when I say I, when I say horrific, I can add another effect. So to keep it, you need to keep it very interesting. Like every two seconds, there needs to be an edit. Looks horrific. Have you noticed, guys? Um, Looks horrific. There's like an obvious cut because you don't want your cuts in speak. When you speak a sentence, you don't want your cuts to be obvious. So what I would suggest is to make it flow more. If you notice Looks like this, horrific. you can see there's the clear cut. There's a clear cut in my in my sentence. Hor so kind of like fade that out so it's unnoticeable. So we're gonna like, I don't know, zoom into Freddy a bit. Give Freddy some of the attention. There we go. Now it should flow better. Oh, my days. Freddy looks horrific. Okay. Hey, you don't really notice. Um, looks horrific. You don't really notice my face change because your the background's bigger than my face. So you focus on the background you don't really focus on the person so it looks like their sentence flows okay guys i am back um as you can see it's a bit dark because i was doing things most of the day uh, but we're back um and i've just noticed guys this mask isn't quite doing it for me so what we're going to do we're going to delete that that's this is why it's good to edit in segments guys it's not always good to edit in one go because you don't really notice many mistakes and then once you've uploaded, you look back at it, and then you feel like, oh, you could have done better. No one likes that feeling, so... Looks horrific. I'm gonna make myself a little bit bigger. Horrific. Okay, you know what, guys? We're not gonna waste time. We're gonna jump straight into this. See what we can do here. To this. So once I put my camera back, I want to make it bigger than it usually is. So to do that, we're gonna leave it at that size. This in the middle. This time we're gonna jump straight into this see what we can do here so new game is coming soon so now guys just basic new things like uh when i'm talking about the new game the new game i would like zoom into it you want your face cam to complement the clip so whenever you're talking about something don't hesitate to zoom in or focus in on it so it goes together well never have something still it always has to have some sort of move movement to it so it flows i'll get back to you guys when i've done most of the intro 
Okay guys, now I've gone from talking into the actual gameplay over here. Here, okay, new item. Then we're gonna go to adjustment layer. This is a transition. This is the easiest transition you can do. Okay, so what we're gonna do guys is we're gonna go three to one side. Three to three to the other side. Then we're gonna cut off the parts we don't need. And we're gonna search up. We're gonna search up directional blur. And we're gonna drag that onto our adjustment layer. We go to direction and we go to blur length. Then what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to the middle. We're gonna put our, we're gonna call this the eye. We're gonna go into the middle. Direction, we're gonna make it 60. Now you can't see it right now because I haven't added any blurriness. The good blurriness would be 100. Go to the end of the adjustment layer and push these. So it resets. So it looks something like this slowly. There's a quick transition onto our next thing. So it looks something like this guys. If that's, if that's too short for you, it's very easy. Go to the end of this and then you can drag it out by another two. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't go more than that. Uh, five on each side or three on each side is, is a good, good amount and it should be something like this. Quick, easy transition, clean as well. What's going on guys, it's Badger here and welcome back to another video. Today guys, we're playing Five Nights at Freddy's Plus. Now this isn't the same FNAF Plus we played last time. This is apparently the scarier version. Oh my days, Freddy looks horrific. Okay, you know what guys, we're not gonna waste time. We're gonna jump straight into this, see what we can do here. So new game is coming soon. Can we select tonight? Okay, we can select tonight. This is only in beta mode. This is a new, fresh game. We're gonna do custom night, guys. To get it, st well, they have. What does the puppet do? We're just gonna go in with the puppet. I want to see what this is about. Wait, what's control? Control? What's what's this? What guys, that was around forty seconds for my intro. That is a good amount of time. You want it between thirty and thirty seconds and one minute, as I said before. That is a good intro, but it's not quite there because we don't have music. Or enough sound effects. We've only really got two swish, two swish effects. I have too many files. I can't list every single one. If you want to find some of the audios I use, search up Corey Kenshin sounds playlist. So I'm gonna touch up this. Okay, what you want to do, guys? You want to drag it onto the bottom layer. Come on, guys, a badger here. Uh, make sure the music starts properly. What's going on guys, it's Badger here and welcome back to another video. Today guys, we're playing Five Nights at Freddy's Plus. Now this isn't the same FNAF Plus we played last time. This is apparently the scarier version. Oh my days, Freddy looks horrific. When I put the screen up, Five Nights at I'm gonna add a pop sound effect. So we're gonna go to an easy one to use, which is the Minecraft pop. Okay, now I'm gonna watch it back. Today guys, we're playing Five Nights at Freddy's Plus. Over here guys, I move into the frame. So I'm gonna add another swish effect. If your clips aren't like sticking, you know how like mine sticks, it like snaps on. If that's not happening, you need to turn on the snapping timeline. It looks like a magnet. Add that and then it, your clips will snap to where the kite is. Apparently the scarier. There we go. I suggest starting with all the swishes first, then the actual sound effects. Version. Oh my. Okay, look here. This is a very easy one, guys. Freddy pops up. What do you do when you see Freddy? You add the Freddy laugh. We add the Freddy laugh, guys. Okay, we're gonna just cut it. Here we go. Version. Oh my days. Freddy looks horrific. If we click on this and then we right click, there's something called speed and duration. We click on that. And you can change the speed, you can make it slower, faster, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna push this thing called reverse speed. It basically does what it says, makes the audio reversed. This will act like an audio stinger. If you don't know what that is, I'm about to show you right now. Also guys, if your audios collide, like it goes into the other, just you can drag it down a layer. If you really have to, but I suggest keeping everything on the same layer so it's easier to find. So it'll sound like this, guys. Oh my days, Freddy looks horrific. Okay, you know what guys, we're not gonna waste time, we're gonna jump straight into this, see what we can do here. You see that guys, it is, it's like a, it builds atmosphere. This can be added for like before jump scares, before something climactic is about to happen. You can use this wherever you want to build suspense. It makes the audience focus in, okay? Adding subtle things like that actually matter in your videos, okay guys? I'm gonna go edit this up my way and I'll come back to you guys once I've done that. Keep in mind guys, 
this isn't the quality you're gonna have to put in for the whole entire video this is just for like the beginning and for the end of your video so you can keep retention okay 10 minutes later guys um i have edited my intro it is about 39 seconds long there's a lot of green which is the sound effects and music let me know what you think what's going on guys it's badger here and welcome back to another video today guys we're playing five minutes of freddy's plus now this isn't the same fnaf plus we played last time Hi. this is apparently the scarier version oh my days freddy looks horrific okay you know what guys we're not gonna waste time we're gonna jump straight into this see what we can do here so new game is coming soon can we select tonight okay we can select tonight this is only in beta mode. This is a new, fresh game. We're gonna do custom night, guys. To get it, st well, they have. What does the puppet do? Huh? We're just gonna go in with the puppet. I want to see what this is about. Wait, what's control? Control? What's, what's this? That's basically what my intro looks like. As you can see, it's a lot of sound effects. I'd say this is like the minimum you should have your intro at. It should have a lot of editing compared to the rest of your video. If you actually want to get that retention, you need to be focusing most of your time onto your intro or a lot of your time. I know people like to do that last. Do it first when you have the most energy. Another thing I'm going to add guys, because at the beginning I talk a bit fast, you probably won't even understand what I've said. Uh, I'm gonna add subtitles for the beginning part. What's going on guys, it's Badger here and welcome back to another video today. So if you don't know what I've said there, because <laughs> I've been speaking fast, I said what's going on guys, it's Badger here and welcome back to another video. So what's going on guys? Luckiest guy, I think that's probably my one of my most favourite fonts. What's going on guys, Badger here. So you just want to do this quickly for all of your things, Badger here. I've got presets that I've made. You need to make presets, guys. It helps a lot. Uh, it's called pop effect. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to highlight all of these. I'm going to drag them onto all of it. So we're going to look at it and see what it's like. What's going on, guys? It's Badger here, and welcome back to another video. Today, guys, we're playing five. What we're going to do, guys, is we're going to start off with it smaller. So around here, we're going to leave two keyframes, go two out, make it big big like that another two out and we're gonna put it at a, at a hundred so it'll look like this what's going on guys what's going on guys like, i can make uh each one red if i want welcome back to another video today that way it keeps the it keeps it interesting it's not just a boring color we're playing five uh. what's going on guys the badger here and welcome back to another video today guys we're playing five uh. nights of freddy's plus uh, so yeah, you can do that any font. That's basically how you do text guys and font um, So yeah, that is just the intro Now for the outro guys, I've downloaded a whole outro for myself I've done this with like a I did this years ago with a free outro maker. I know it's not professional Same thing guys little pan zoom pan I hope zoom you enjoyed in. the video I'll Zoom not too much also guys, I want to add a subscribe effect, another free subscribe. All the things I'm using guys are free. I'm not, I haven't paid for anything here. Uh, so I've downloaded a green screen thing. The thing with this green screen is it's personalized, which is amazing. What we do guys, we search up something called key, ultra key. We drag and drop that. Then over here, we grab this. I drop tool, we push green. Just like that, it deletes the green. Uh, if it's not done properly, there is, um, those are drop down tools here to clean it up. Just mess around with it and you'll get the perfect one. Do a smooth shake. I'm gonna add another smooth shake, guys. Most importantly, show more of your content at the end of your video so people click on to your next content if they enjoy it. Uh, it keeps, it does well for your channel. So the thing with the music, guys, if you wanna have a music going in and out, put the volume all the way down. I hope you enjoyed the video. Go to like, uh, oh, mo just uh, go like a course of the way make it negative 20 like very low um i will be playing another so it's, it's very low in the background i make another keyframe here and then i can put it up i can put it up i'll put it up to negative 10 so it doesn't blast the ears and that's how you do a thing okay and also the other thing with this part 
you want to cut out the game audio or you want to make the game audio quieter and then fade out by doing the same technique with this part guys i'll just get a clip of my old video and i'll just resize it and place it inside the holders and that's it it basically consists of you know the zooms i've shown for the intro the 8-bit ryan fade effect over yeah. over here basically that if you want to know to do that just go back yeah we've done transitions one thing that i will say guys is for hurry gaming the main priority is getting the viewer invested with you as if they're playing the game with you i'd suggest scary music scary sound effects that have build-ups like the stinger that i've done over here let's jump straight into this see those are sort of effects sounds like that you can find them all over youtube and just download them easy one thing i will show you guys is there is an effect called the ring out now this is something i've downloaded um if i find the youtube video uh, you know I'll, I'll pull up right now this video guys this video here easy reverb ring out by this guy called spencer download presets we click here and he has a bunch of free effect a bunch of free things to add i use i've taken most of the free stuff from here you should go download them yourself it's very easy the way to download the preset is go to effects you click on these three lines and you click on import preset you, you click on it okay over here when i said what does a puppet do i want the do to ring out uh the way i do does that is do when i say do i'll cut so now that audio is cut and i'm going to drag this down to the bottom because i want to give it space I'm going to drag this out. Now you probably think, why is he dragging it out? It's just going to, surely it's just going to make more background noise. No. Guys, okay. So what you want to do here is over here where, where the cut is, you want to go to audio. You want to put a keyframe. Go one to the side, drag it all, to the way, all the way to the bottom. So from here to here, there's no audio at all. Now what we're going to do, guys, is drag our ring out now you can change the settings over here okay now it just sounds something like this what does the puppet do huh? we're just gonna go in with the puppet i want to what does the puppet do huh? we're just gonna go in with the puppet i want to see what my do rings out what does the puppet do huh? we're just gonna go in with the puppet if you look at my channel i've been adding loads of this i've been using ring outs it it's a smooth way of transitioning onto the next part. I'm trying to make this video as quick as possible. I'm going to try label everything so you can go back, find all the parts you want to find. And uh, yeah. So yeah, guys, you don't want to put too much editing into your video. So I'd suggest watching your favorite YouTuber or the YouTuber you want to take inspiration from and basically learn from that. Um, I'm not going to show you how to edit all of this. I've just showed you the, the basic easiest things that you scattered throughout the middle. So all of this would have all the effects I've shown scattered about. I'm going to leave this video here. If you did enjoy it, leave a like and subscribe. I know it's a bit dark. Sorry for like, you know, uh, hopefully this was helpful. I'm going to try lay it out in a easy way to understand. But if you did enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe. That would be greatly appreciated. Comment down below if there's any other effects you want me to teach you. Go look at my videos. You can watch my videos here. If you want to see how I make thumbnails, like all the ones on screen and all the ones on my channel, comment down below and I'll do a tutorial on Photoshop. Subscribe so you don't miss any updates or you don't lose this video. I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye, guys.